Hello everybody, today's video is another book review called The Queen of Hearts by Colin Oaks, I want to say. Um, this is, I guess, an origin story of The Queen of Hearts from the Alice in Wonderland stories. Um, the cover is pretty cool, it's got the queen, um, like the card, and then it says evil is rising in Wonderland. Um, this is a pretty short book. It's about, I want to say, 300 pages or so. Yeah, 300, 306 pages. Um, so it's a pretty thin, very short book. I read it very fast in a couple hours, which is kind of unusual. It was just a very quick read. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. It's an okay book, I feel like. Um, when it comes to it, being like an origin story for I guess the Wonderland world and in particular the Queen of Hearts it, it's so so um the character's name in this book is Dinah kind of like the cat in the and Alice, Alice's cat I mean um in this book all the characters like the white rabbit and the Cheshire Cat, they're human somehow. I'm not sure how they're human, um, but they're human. Wonderland isn't really like it's often described as in books and movies. Even in like Once Upon a Time, Wonderland is pretty close to what Lewis Carroll wrote. Um, so I'm not, I'm not too sure about that. Um, because I feel like if you're going to do an origin story of the Queen of Hearts, um, I definitely think you should keep it as close, like the world itself, like how the characters look, um, as close as you can. Like, like in Wonderland they have cards running around, like not people wearing like armor that looks like cards or something like that, or with card shapes on it or whatever. Um, in this story, she is technically the princess of hearts, and then her father is the king, and he apparently wants her, doesn't want her to take over his throne, something like that. Um, so, it's kind of crazy. The one thing I will say that's a little unique was making the character of the Mad Hatter her brother. Um, I thought that was pretty unique. I liked that dynamic, I feel like. However, overall, I think this book, to me, isn't a very good, I guess, if you want to read something that's going to be an origin story, like, for the Queen of Hearts, and you know, maybe learn why she became who she is, um, I recommend Marissa Meyer's book, Heartless. Um, which I'm currently like in the middle of reading. I will say like even though I'm only halfway, I feel like that's a better book than this when it comes to kind of going into the backstory of the Queen of Hearts. Because um, again, the world is very similar to what we already know from previous movies and from Lewis Carroll's novel itself. Um, and I think that's kind of the weakness of this story. Um, I th guess the unique aspect is, sorry, um, the tower. There's like this tower where they hold the prisoners and it's like a living like organism and it like feeds off of the humans in there. That's pretty um, crazy. That's pretty crazy. It's pretty like dark and twisted. Um, for me, that's really unique, but it's also something that I don't feel like fits Wonderland in my opinion because um, I, I don't picture Wonderland to be dark and twisted that's just my opinion when I read Carol's book and when I watch like for example the Disney version um I do think maybe that kind of came from like Once Upon a Time with Korra like Korra was kind of dark and twisted as the Queen of Hearts um but I don't know. It's a so-so book, I feel like. Um, the characters were okay. I mean, the character Dinah, who's the main character, you're actually reading from her point of view. Um, 
I can't see this person becoming that queen of hearts, that person that's shouting up with their head. You know, I can't see her being that person just based on who she is in this book. Like, honestly, she feels more similar to, like, the king of hearts in a way. Um, but I do think this has another sequel or something. Yes, Blood of Wonderland. Um, there is at least one more book in this story or maybe two I'm not sure hopefully it adds more and maybe builds up to that for Dinah to become that person because right now it's just not there I know this review isn't that great but to be honest there's not a lot to talk about with this book um because even like the king like I don't feel anything for the king I don't feel, kind of feel I'm the villain in the story uh, it's just, it's kind of, eh. It's an eh book. Do I recommend reading it? I think if you're a big fan of Wonderland, like Alice in Wonderland, um, then yeah, I would say go ahead and read it. Um, because maybe you will enjoy it. I don't know. Um, I do consider myself a big fan of Alice in Wonderland, and I didn't care for this particular book. Um, I do plan on getting the next book, just to see if maybe it improves. Um, I don't, based off of this experience though, I think it's just gonna be a so-so series of books, or at least a two book series from, but, cause I don't know if there's only one sequel or two or something, um, but yeah. She has also written something about Peter Pan. Which sounds interesting because there's not a lot of retellings of Peter Pan. I did read one called Unhook, which is super good. Um, but I don't truly recommend this book, to be honest, because it's just, yeah. I think if you're maybe going on a plane ride or something like that and you just need something to read really fast, then I say go ahead and grab this book because it'll just be something to do to pass the time. And it's also something that you can read really fast. Like, if you have a two-hour plane ride, you can read out of this book pretty easy. So, I'd give this book, I'd give this book a D. Um, it's not that she's, like, a bad author. It's just, I feel like, maybe Wonderland isn't the retelling for her. Like, I betcha her Peter Pan might be better. Who knows? But... Kind of hoping it is. I'm gonna check it that out too. Um, but for Wonderland, not really. So yeah. So this was my review of the Queen of Hearts book by Colleen Oakes. Um, again, I give it a D because it was just okay. Do I plan on keeping this book probably for a while? Um, and then maybe I'll take it in. We'll see. Maybe I might reread it one day. If Maybe I'll change my mind and reread it. Who knows? But again, if you want right now for Wonderland retellings, my recommendation is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. And I'll do a review on that when I finish that book because I'm only halfway through. <laughs> and I have another book review after this. Bye!